what is up everyone welcome back to another episode of max tech motorsports as you guys can see yes sir we're back in the gti here this is um yeah may 19th 2022 so fresh start guys finally got the car back again uh, a lot of my intros start with the view of the car that we're dealing with today and uh yeah it feels so good to be back here um again really appreciate you guys with all the support through the winter and from last year but um hoping to bring you guys some fun stuff this year if you guys watched the update video you saw kind of various parts and uh random stuff that cut that we kind of have planned as far as the gti goes you can see the toyota echo on the other side over there that's going to be one of our figure eight cars um as well as some honda civic that we picked up and then yeah the fc is just it's just yeah the fc is in the garage but anyways so the gti again um lots of stuff we have to do to this year but with the first episode of 2022 we're going to be doing something that i've been trying to do for a while um did a lot of research on it and that is our racing harness so if you guys see here i picked this up from das parts again if you're in the toronto area or the gta area or anywhere um i mean london windsor any of that stuff das parts for sure you guys already know the boys there will take care of you but uh, yeah, they were able to order me in this, uh, I think it's called Stroth or Stroth. I'm not sure exactly to be, to be honest with you, but um, yeah, this is their quick fit harness for the Mark IV. Uh, Mark IV Golf, I believe Jetta. I think it does fit the Audi A3 as well. But um, yeah, so this is uh, the quick fit harness right here. Uh, ASM technology on it as well. I'm not really sure what that means, but um, yeah, this allows me to run a harness with the sparkle seat. So if you guys look right there, the sparkle seat that we installed last year. Again, you guys can go take a look at all the videos so far that we've done with everything GTI related. But uh, yeah, it's it was a bit of a debate if I'm honest. Um, we were going to put a harness bar in, but again, uh, some places won't allow that. Um, I'm not ready to fully commit to um, either a half cage or a fully built cage, maybe um, as the car gets um, more into its journey as far as time attack stuff goes. Um, in the end, we'll see how far we're going to go with it, being that it's uh, a rear axle beam car. I mean, you can do what you want with it, but um, this will probably be just a stepping stone into something bigger in uh, the future. But yeah, um, guys, when you guys buy the harness, again, um, make sure you check all your regulations. Um, try not to buy anything used. Um, a lot of these have expiry dates on them. You don't want to mess around when it comes to um, harness stuff, for sure. And you really don't want to mess around when it comes to Mickey Mousing some sort of uh, cage or um, a harness bar. Because, again, most places might not let you run it. Um, it can be very, very, very dangerous. It can cause some serious injury, death. You know what I mean? I'm not here to be a uh, Samaritan like that, but this is a pretty big deal. So um, this one that I picked up, again, being the quick fit harness, I'll show you um, you guys the part number, I think, on it if I can find it. But what it's designed to do, you guys see here, um, it's got the nice Stroth Racing logo on there as well. Um, so this is designed to kind of fit in with all the DOT OEM approved uh, mounting points in this in this version, well, in the Golf in this case, obviously. So pretty much what's gonna do is I, it'll clip into this OEM location for the seat buckle. This side right here, we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna mount this onto the mounting point at the bottom there. I'm gonna have to figure that out. And then it will go over my shoulders right here. And then it's gonna buckle in at the back using the rear seat there. So we're gonna move the seats down and there'll be a mounting point on the far side over there on the right side. And then on the left side, we'll be um, just plugging into the, um, the what's called there, the seat belt buckle. So that's literally what it's designed to do. Um, it allows you to, I mean, if you wanna drive your car to the track, you can drive your car to the track with your OEM seat belt on. When you get to the track, if you wanna feel more secure, then you can use this harness to keep you intact. Um, again, it's DOT approved. I know you can get it from ECS tuning as well. They kind of have all the details on it. Um, but yeah, you got to be careful too when you're buying it, guys, that um, you make sure you, you, you buy the right side. So um, if you take a look at everything, um, obviously right now it doesn't look that good, but 
if you take a look at everything on the site there is a passenger side one and there's a driver side one so yeah i'm really excited to get in again with the box here you kind of see what's in there it comes with these huge uh, huge decals here which i mean is not a big deal right they only add a couple more horsepower um as far as everything else goes don't mind there's some uh hub centric kind of rings in there again here's the part number for it actually right there so if you take a look at that and again vw audi quit fit and it's the four so just a four point harness and then everything else is kind of in german and then down there i think i have to take a look but it will have all the information as far as the expiry date when it's good to all that jazz so um yeah let's get to it guys again welcome back to the channel i'm so pumped to get back to this let's go all right guys so first thing first um i'm gonna take the seat out again we have our sparkle seats i still have to get a bracket for the passenger one there but i have matching seats um yeah these are okay for now until i really put the money into something nicer but yeah so we're gonna take off again i think these are 17 yes perfect so 17 we're going to take these two bolts out and then we're going to slide the seat out and if you remember from the install um you can see down here that this little bracket it's kind of have like so picture this obviously you can see that welds onto this bracket goes down and then you have your little slider that goes into this kind of rail section i have to slide this whole thing back and out which would just allow me to have a lot more room to do what i'm doing with here It feels so weird doing this again because even though I installed these, I totally forget how I put everything in, all the sizes and whatnot, but okay, at least that one is out though. Okay, so now we got these two guys out again. You should be able to slide this all the way back. If you're using your OEM seat, guys, it is definitely a lot easier, as you guys already know that. But, um, yeah, let's get this puppy out here. All right, there we go. So way more room now. Tons of more room. As you guys can see, the seat's just peeking at me there, but... Um, yeah, with all the room available now, guys, again, um, just a quick thing too, just be careful with your wiring, with your OEM seat, um, because you can run this, this harness with the OEM one, so, I mean, don't get too excited, but, um, yeah, you don't want the stuff to rip up just because it affects your airbags, um, the heated seats, all that stuff, so just be careful with that, quick reminder, but now that the seat's out, we have way more room. Moving on to the next step um, with the pull strap right here for this rear rear seat, driver's side. It'll be the same on the passenger side. If you guys remember when we did the fuel pump, I'm just gonna pull it out. Pretty basic, um, be a good time to clean. I mean, I don't even drive this car. I haven't even driven this car in like months and I vacuumed it right before storage and there's crap everywhere. Like, I don't know how that works, but uh, yeah. Now that we have that open, we have everything we need to do in order to get our harness in so we have our buckle right here and then if you guys take a look down there there's our oem mounting point for our rear seat seat belt so again um yeah you're going to want to use these mounting points on different parts of the car when it comes to installing this harness and if you look over here you guys can take a look that kind of have the harness situated in the way that it's going to sit so again guys just remember especially with these quick fits there's a passenger side one and there is um, a driver side one in this case we're working with the driver side one but I just want to kind of show you guys um, how it all kind of sits when we're trying to get everything all set up here so um, yeah moving over to our orientation of the harness so if you look on the far side here you can see that we have our little buckle. So this buckle is going to go into your driver's side buckle so that when you guys put your seatbelt on regularly, um, just your OEM seatbelt, this is gonna go into there from now on. And then you have your little padding, which is gonna help you with your lap. 
And then you have your padding here on the other side. And then these two will go together right there. Again, you want the padding on the inside, so that should kind of help. Then you have your shoulder straps or your shoulder uh, belts here. And then if you look at the back, it crosses over. So this is where the cross is. And then you can kind of see how it all works out. So right here we have our little loop. This is going to go down there on the far right side into that mount. And this right here is going to buckle into the OEM buckle for the driver's side rear right here. So as we go along with that, I'll show you again. And then moving to the driver's side, this buckle right here, we're gonna try to figure out either if it goes into this little loop or we might have to remove the panel and put it into the actual mount that is similar to this guy right there. So let's get started on that. Again, I'm gonna try to move these panels just to kind of make sure. And then, um, yeah, hopefully that takes care of trying to put this harness in. The only thing I was really nervous about when buying this was this whole section here. Like obviously this goes into this guy right here, but I was so nervous with this to see how it was gonna work, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get it going together, guys. Okay guys, so what I found so far, as far as the driver's side here, um, if you look down, you can't really see it, but so here's your driver's side seatbelt. And you can kind of see all the hardware and everything that comes along with it. This is um, your device for retracting everything and yada, yada, yada. But just underneath it is where the mounting goes for this bar. So in order for me to either put on that little loop for the driver's side, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to find a way to get to that. So what I've done is actually popped off the rear uh, quarter panel here with the speaker deck and all that stuff. So um, yeah, if you put down the rear seat at the back, you kind of see this little kind of screw. Um, not really screw, but it's kind of like a cover. You just unscrew that. And then as you go along, just be careful guys. Again, these cars are from like 2000 and something like that. So just be careful with that. You don't want to crack anything. But yeah, it should mostly just pop off. So I've kind of made my way with that. And then you'll see that down there where the actual mounting point is. I might try to get the lower trim level off as well. There's a couple screws and whatnot, but just kind of showcasing it as we go here. But uh, yeah, again, just another step that you're gonna have to take when you wanna put this harness in. Got out here. Again, guys, don't go too crazy with the pulling because you got your little tweeter right here. You have the wiring for that. So um, yeah, once you kinda maneuver it um i mean i'm sure you can take the seats out too probably be a lot easier um i just kind of <laughs> played a little roulette with the plastic here but um got lucky so that's a good thing but again guys just be careful with right here you're going to want to remove this tweeter or at least the wiring for it and then just make sure this is just a seal for the speaker and whatnot toss that back into there but that would definitely open up a lot more space for us to work now that that panel is off, we have a bit of a better view here. And again, you can kind of see the clips. So these are the guys that uh, kind of hold everything in place with that panel. But now we have this bottom one right here. I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to have to really get to it. But if I do, there are... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm just getting over a bad cold, guys. So I apologize for any of the sniffles you guys have heard so far. But... Um, yeah, so right here again, you're gonna have, similar to what the quarter panel had here, is this kind of plug. So you take this bad boy off. There you go. And then we have a couple, those look like Phillips. So a couple Phillips screws here. There looks like to be three. And then I'm gonna have to take a look along here as well to get that off. But once we do that, You'll be able to see, see that little brass kind of, there you go. So right there, that's the thing that we're trying to get after right now in order to mount this uh, driver's side loop. Got these screws, three of them, the Phillips. Again, one, two, and three. 
as well as this little plug. Um, yeah, I guess it's threaded in there. So now you can see the bottom trim here. You kind of pull it away, and then as you work along, um, I mean, just above the rocker here, it kind of pops up. So again, just be careful again, because this, this stuff's pretty old. And what you want to do, we're going to try to move this out of the way. Nice and easy. Without ripping up the speakers. Even though I don't even think they work on this car, but there we go. So again, that gives us full access to this bolt here. Um, again, guys, don't let this discourage you from, from doing this, because honestly, it's really not that hard to do. Um, you know what I mean? And once you have this loop in here, you can leave the loop in. So for example, if you look, just the way this is, like that, you can leave this loop in here and not have to worry about it. It can just stay there. And all you have to worry about is just buckling in this part of the harness. So when I say, I mean, it's like quick fit and you can use it like at the track and drive home with your OEM harness, like this is what I'm talking about. It's, it's really an awesome piece of, um, of engineering um and a really cool part i mean for just like a hobbyist that just wants to go and have some fun on the track but still has their 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 daily so um yeah this is just the hardest part of it i wouldn't worry about it too much trust me don't let it uh, discourage you from from getting it but um yeah i'm not trying to be too inspirational <laughs> right now but we have full access down here to this little bar so what i'm gonna do now is just kind of loosen that up um again i gotta take a look underneath here that is either welded or it's right down to the the frame there i'll take a look at that but once we have this thing loose enough we can put our loop in put everything back together and then i'll sh show you guys as we go how everything all connects into one so this guy right here um 13 mil as far as that goes and then if you really dig down deep here guys um, within all the carpet and stuff like that uh, there is a bolt down there at the bottom as well I'm gonna have to find it um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to take it off I'll pr probably most likely gonna have to loosen it when it comes to the hardware and stuff like that don't be messing around too much with with these bolts I mean don't be taking this out and putting something else in uh, these are designed for this reason they are for safety and um yeah like i'm not gonna take credit if you mess it up and get yourself hurt but i'm just saying just don't mess around with these guys right here so let's try and take it out oh there we go nice so now uh the kind of dilemma that i'm having here is if do i just mount my hook where'd it go my hook right here my mount um do i mount it on the bottom here to make it a little bit i mean it's gonna be a lot harder to get to or do i mount it here or do i see if i can fit it onto this the problem with that is that this tab right here is a little bit too thick and i sure do not want to kind of modify that but this part right here if you look down it's kind of like an s hook I might be able just to pry that piece up just a wee bit and that will allow me to get the loop in and then I can close it after. So I'm going to see what I can do with that and then I'll get back to you guys when it comes to that uh, that time. So I was able to get it on, um, yeah, onto the slider here. And you know what I mean? This is the same slider, the same bar that the OEM seatbelt stuff uses. So I assume that it's designed to do what I've uh, put on there, so um, hopefully it works out. The only thing I had to do, so you guys see this S-hook here. Um, yeah, I kind of had to grind it just a little bit, just a wee bit to uh, to get this thing to slide on. And then I pretty much put in the vise and kind of crimped it back um, to pretty much where it was. Again, you don't want to go too crazy with it because even though um, there's still tons of, uh, of gap there, that's... Um, that's, you know what I mean, keeping it within reason as far as where it's mounted. Um, yeah, you don't want to go too nuts trying to put it back because you don't want to weaken it and crack it and all that stuff. This stuff is pretty um, soft, I guess you can say, soft metal for what it is. But uh, yeah, it should work. Hopefully, I, I assume this is going to be the right method for it. I can't see me having it down here, and I definitely cannot see it 
being down there for a couple of reasons. Um, one down there, there's no way that this thing is being mounted in there properly without having to bend this bracket. And then you also have to deal with the trim. And then as well as here, I mean, it could probably work, but then you also have to deal with your quarter panel back here as well. So um, the way I have it, at least I know that when it sits, it's going to be exactly the way the OEM one is. So I'm going to put the OEM one back in there as well. That way I have both of them. And then, like I said, if I don't want to use the harness guys at the track or I don't know the track, but on the road, I can just unclip it and leave all my mounting points in there, which I will show you as we go. But uh, yeah, let me work on getting this thing mounted back in and getting the other seatbelt on. And then I'm probably going to put the trim back on as we go. And then I'll bring you guys back in with that. Just to give you guys an idea, right there. So there's our point for our harness and then the OEM one. Same place from the factory, works pretty good. And then again, guys, we don't have to worry about this trim and all that stuff getting in the way. So should work out pretty good. And I mean, even if you're a guy like me where you're a little bit shorter and you sit pretty much on the steering wheel, um, yeah, that gives you a lot of advantage. There's no way, I don't think it's gonna work like that. So yeah, just putting the trim back on too. Don't forget guys, this little plastic piece here threads on. Just kind of show you again, this little nub goes right there. And then our three sections here with our Phillips screws and then all the tabs, make sure they're all intact. Give it a couple hits, should go in pretty good. Trim is back on. Again, guys, the more we do this, the closer you can see everything pans out. So that's all good to go. Moving on um, to the back part now. So right here again, guys, we have the 17 mil on the bottom. Same thing as before. What we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously take that off. And then right here, you can see like there's a clip. We're gonna take this piece off and then mount that right at the bottom over there. So this thing right here, I'm gonna try to get a good angle for you guys. Right there. So there you go. That's pretty much how it came from out of the factory. All you gotta do is just pull this spring right back and there we go pops right out so we're left with this piece and again you can kind of see how the whole quick fit thing comes together with this one right here and this one right here these can stay in the car at all times they're just mounted and then when you put the harness in they clip in but anyways yeah we're gonna put it down on the bottom here um bit of a tricky fit i'm gonna have to see how it's gonna work with the seat but um yeah i'm just gonna mount it right here with the 17 mil Again, same one from the factory. Try to get this thing filtered, um, or not filtered, but kind of situated in the way. Sorry, there we go, so you guys can see that better. Um, for it to actually work. But uh, let me give it a go here, see how it all works out. I'll bring you guys back in when I'm done it. Just tossed on the rear quarter panel here too as well. Um, <laughs> a bit of a nightmare, honestly guys, if you guys can take the seats out, it's probably your best bet just to, um, yeah, just whatever. But um, yeah, there's so many clips here and then you got the clips here and then there's some underneath the speaker that go in there as well. And then at the back, don't forget, similar to this one right here, you got one way at the back, right there. So make sure you guys do that one as well. And then one of the things that, um, as you're going along here too, guys, it is a bit of a pain, but you have to make sure that your seat belts are all oriented in a way so that everything fits. So, excuse me. Um, again, like when you put this panel on, make sure that your seat belt is situated on the outside before you do it. So it's not sitting inside of here. Um, yeah, when I did the bottom trim here, I had to take it all off again because I wasn't able to slide this originally because this part was on the inside of here so yeah as you're doing it again if you have someone to help you too it always helps 
for sure. But um, yeah, panel's tight. Oops, the door's still open there. Speaker's all hooked up. Don't forget to hook up your tweeter as well too. I mean, it's up to you if you want to do that. Make sure everything's nice and tight. And then I kind of got this anchor right here in a situation or in, a, in an area here that I think should work out okay. Kind of doing the same sort of thing that these buckles do. So yeah, that's on there. Um, got everything all nice and tight. I think it's 40 Newton meters or something like that is what these uh, seatbelt things are supposed to be torqued to, but um, you guys can use that or you can check up, excuse me, online if you like to. But uh, yeah, I think we're getting pretty close here. We're gonna go grab the rear seat, the, the cushion here for, for the bottom, and we're gonna make sure that everything sits nicely. And then I think what we're gonna do after that is try to give this harness a bit of a test fit just to make sure without the seat. And if all goes to plan, we'll put the seat back in, line everything up, get in the seat, put the harness on and we'll try all that stuff and see how it works. Um, so now that we have it all in here, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this whole harness thing works with everything all set in place. Make sure all your hardware, um, as far as the seat goes, is all either up to date or um, proper grading. That way everything's good to go. But yeah, anyways. So pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna find Right here we have our, our cross at the end, which is gonna cross over in the back. And then remember what I told you guys earlier about the lap portion. So you want the padding on the inside. So you can see how the padding would go in like that. And then obviously um, not only does it look good, but just makes sense. Dotted line here, as well as the stroth or stroth or whatever racing. Um, this is embroidered, which is nice. I, I actually really like that. No stickers, no nothing. That's like pretty cool quality there. You want that facing out on both sides. So we already know, just judging by the way the padding is on this, as far as the lap bar goes here, this is going to be our right side of our body. So I'm going to feed this through my hoop right here. I mean, if you have OEM seats you can make it work as well but just because we have the hoop should fit in there very nicely I'll move that through now so there's one right there and then the other side trying to get everything situated you can see right there so there's the other padding let's get that one through Looking from the passenger side now, guys, you guys can see how it all kind of comes together. Um, again, pretty basic. Starting from your lap bar on the front, you have this buckle, which will go into your OEM location as far as, um, yeah, the seatbelt uh, buckle that's actually a part of the seat itself. So you have that. I might have to move this back. I've had issues... Um, when I did the whole seat itself, um, I probably have to loosen this up and find a way to move it back. As you can see the difference where this one is compared to this one. Moving towards the back, as you guys go towards the back, make sure you get any sort of, um, you know, I mean, any sort of wrapping or any sort of, um, I mean, if your seatbelt's all twisted, you want to get all that stuff out. But when you get back here, you can see again how it all makes sense. You're going to have... This portion goes into the OEM buckle and then the one that we installed. It's a little tricky just because it sits a little low, but there we go. Clips right in. No worries at all. And then moving over back to the other side, this is where our sliding um, anchor is, which will then go into this piece. There you go. So that's the harness as it sits. Now, again, I'm gonna sit in this thing right now and just kind of fully adjust it to my pleasure. And then I'll show you guys everything when it's all said and done. So there we go, guys. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Fits really good. Um, I mean, for the first, first dry fit, I still gotta do some more adjusting. Um, I think I really have to move this seatbelt, this part back a bit still. 
but um, we'll get there when we get there. As far as the harness goes, guys, like really, um, the color looks really good. I love the color. It matches kind of everything. I know I got the red on the sparkle seats here, but uh, yeah, the color looks good. Um, the buckles, um, the actual like belt itself, like everything feels good and everything feels nice and tight the way it should be. Um, I feel a lot more safer, obviously, which is the whole point of, uh, of buying this. But uh, most importantly, again, guys, if I'm driving to the track, I still got the OEM seatbelt right there. If I need to take this thing off, there's there's no there's no worries it's literally one and then the one over here if you guys can see that two and then the two at the back three and four easy peasy within two seconds you're out of the harness and you're rocking your regular seatbelt. so um as far as like the money for what it is like this is this is perfect and if you don't have a cage you don't have a harness or any of that stuff um i think this is the way to go personally but um yeah hopefully it works out okay um there's only one way to find out but i don't want to find out the hard way so yeah i'm pretty cool with it pretty happy with it it's uh this is a big step for me for getting closer to uh to track time obviously you guys know um this and the turbo were my two biggest things as far as getting on the track but um, I'm really happy to knock this one off, but anyways, guys, um, it's getting a little late. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching another video. I apologize for any of the sniffling and stuff like that. I, I just got over a really bad cold up here. So, uh, feels good to be back for sure. Doing another video. First one in a while feels a little, a little weird for me, but, uh, I really do appreciate you guys watching another one. If you guys have any questions as far as, uh, the install on the harness or any of that that stuff um you know, I mean feel free to message you can dm uh don't forget to like comment on the video subscribe all that jazz and then uh, max tech motorsports on instagram as always give me a follow uh springtime is right now we're going into summertime let's get let's get the channel going let's get the the instagram going um i'm always willing to see other people's cars and share them and feature them i know a couple of you guys have reached out so um, I really appreciate that. And there's been some really cool looking rides. So, um, yeah, anyways, take care. We'll keep in touch for sure. We got a lot of stuff planned for the summer with this thing. Hopefully it all goes to plan. And I uh, look forward to hearing or seeing you guys uh, again. Take care.